Kramer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Conway Report. Food and beverage company Nestle South Africa in July showcased a new production plant at its site in Hammanskral to locally produce the Nescafe Gold range of coffee mixes. The investment involved 79 million rand for new equipment and staff training for 27 new employees. Marlene Arnoldi visited the plant. The new plant is on the same site where Nestle produces Maggi instant noodles and Cremora coffee creamer, of which the latter is a key ingredient in the coffee mixes. The Nescafe Gold coffee mix range includes cappuccino flavors such as original cappuccino, reduced sugar cappuccino, salted caramel latte, hazelnut latte, vanilla latte and white chocolate. The coffee mixes will now be manufactured with 46% locally sourced ingredients at a rate of 5,500 tons a year, instead of being imported. Nestle East and Southern Africa Chief Engineer Sean Weevil unpacks the equipment that features in the new plant and the process of making coffee mixes. In terms of the new equipment, we have basically a batching process. So we bring in different raw materials. Uh, those come in generally in big bags, some of them in these small 25 kg bags. We then batch that through a system into a mixer. It's a high speed mixer. It mixes only for one minute with a very high homogeneity. Uh, from there we transfer into the filling machines. We've got 12 lane filling machines. They're running at 50 cuts. We transfer then into a counter and we feed 10, 20 or 35 depending on the number of stick packs that we're running in a particular SKU. That runs into a carton uh, and from the carton we go into a case packer where we add, again depending on the SKU, different uh, uh, cartons into one final case for packing. And at the end of the line that's manually packed at this stage by an operator. The majority of production is targeted for local consumption, while roughly 10% of production will be exported to other African countries or internationally. Nescafe is in the process of ramping up production in line with market demand. We will expand on the current production rates, what ingredients are locally sourced and how Nestle is trialling local production of coffee for use as a raw material in the coffee mixes. The annual capacity at the moment is 5,500 tonnes. Uh, today we are estimating to run at about 2,500, so we're running just, uh, just below 50% of the capacity of the plant. We have the ability also with a limited investment to go up to 7,500 tonnes. So we're hoping for some growth, we're hoping you and, and everybody else will drink more of the coffee mixes and uh, we, we, we get improved sales. In terms of raw materials, the, uh, the creamers uh, and, and some of the boosters are, are local. The coffee today is being imported, but we're already working on local solutions to find an option. So we have a coffee factory in Escort, and we're busy running trials at the moment to localize coffee as a raw material as well. Uh, of course, we have a creamer factory on the site, so the intention would be that that would be completely local. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.